All these cues are just about some of the ways that humans read each other's behavior. Now, when you interact with another person, one of the most important things to work out is what are they thinking. But before you can know what someone's thinking, you have to have a sense of your own self. Now, how do we develop this? Well, meet Simon the Siamese fighting fish. Now, Siamese fighting fish are very territorial. The males will attack any other male which encroaches on their territory. So let's see if Simon has a sense of self. He seems quite placid at the moment. But let's put a mirror against his tank. I'm going to put this behind him, see if he turns around and notices there's another fish. So when he turns around, let's see if he spots himself. And what you should see is that he'll swim directly towards it, and the gills will flare out as a territorial display. So let's see if he spots himself. There he goes. Ah, see how fast that was? And look, he's fluttering his gills, and he's trying to attack the other fish. And he'll keep bouncing on the glass, swimming backwards and forwards, until this predator, this interloper, disappears. <laughs> See how remarkable that is? <laughs> there, he's, he's, he's not giving up. He's quite a toughie, is our Simon. There we go. So because he doesn't have a sense of self, he doesn't recognize that his, it's his own reflection.